on the screen uh, behind me, but I wanted to read just a couple other verses to give maybe a little bit of context. If you read the chapters prior, Isaiah chapter 11 talks about a branch from Jesse that would come and all these marvelous things would, would be done. And we understand uh, different prophecies to mean that there's a Savior coming one day. And Isaiah was talking about this Savior that would come and the many good things that would happen and the wonderful things that would take place for the children of Israel, but also we understand for those of us that are Gentiles as well. It wasn't just for them, but it was opened up for us as well. And we can be partakers of the same joy. And we can enjoy the same relationship with God. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1 says, And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Thou wast angry with me. Thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Tonight what we want to do is worship the Lord and praise the Lord. Lift him up and let all the earth know where we are right now, the goodness of God. If you would stand with me, I want to open this service with prayer. Dear God, we've come here tonight for an audience of one. I pray, Jesus, that you would be in this place, that you would receive our praise, receive our worship tonight. God, let it come from our heart, straight from our heart, right up to you, Lord. Nothing in between us and you tonight, God. I thank you, Lord, for the many wonderful things that you've done. And I pray that your greatness and your glory would be known in this place. That anyone who needs to be saved tonight can be. That no one would leave this place without knowing you. I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I thank you for your spirit. Let there be an anointing on every singer and every musician and every person that's in this place to hear the name of the Lord exalted and magnified. All of this is for you. We thank you for the opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Feel free to worship along with us tonight. Our first song tonight is from Sister Lene. God bless you, Sister Lene. Praise the Lord. I just want to begin with a couple verses here. I was excited to hear when our theme was excellent things. I've been waiting to s sing this song and it fits right in, but I want to give you a couple verses because because he does excellent things, we want to exalt him. Ephesians 1.21 in the Passion Translation says, and now he is exalted as first above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. And Psalms 108.5, Lord God, be exalted as you soar throughout the heavens. May your shining glory be seen high above all the earth. generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. And all who've gone before us and all who will believe will sing the 
song of ages to the Lamb. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above them all. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above them all, and the angels cry, holy, all creation cries, holy, you are lifted high, holy, holy for If you've been forgiven, if you've been redeemed, sing the song forever to the Lamb. If you walk in freedom, and if you bear his name, sing the song forever to the Lamb. Sing the song forever and amen. The angels cry, holy, all creation cries, holy, you are lifted high, holy.
Thank you, Sister Lene. Wonderful song. I want to invite a uh, young men's group at this time, Brother Eli, Brother Jonathan, Brother Gabe, Brother Isaiah, and Brother Peyton. They're going to be singing a song called Worthy of It All. God bless you, brothers. From you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Brothers, I want to invite the, well, part of the Roche family. Uh, we have Jack playing violin. We have John Russell playing guitar. Uh, and we have Sister Jennifer is helping with singing along with John Russell. 
Uh, this song is called Come Christians Join to Sing. Acts chapter 11, verse 26 tells us that the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Now, I realize we're not in Antioch right now, but here in Clintonville, there's a lot of Christians joined in this place, disciples of Jesus, who are joined to worship God, to bring him glory. And just like this song says, come Christians, join to sing, we hope that you'll join with us on the refrain, super easy, hallelujah, amen. Try it with me. Alleluia. Amen. Great. One, two, three, four. Come, Christians, join to sing. Alleluia. Loud praise to Christ our King. Hallelujah. Amen. Let all with heart and voice before his throne rejoice. Praise is his gracious choice. Alleluia. Amen. Come sing of wondrous grace. Hallelujah, amen. What love has took our place. Hallelujah, amen. Christ, he the lamb was slain, bearing our sin and shame, yet triumphed o'er the grave. Hallelujah, amen. your hearts on high. Hallelujah. Amen. Let praises fill the sky. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ is our guide and friend. He shall return again. His love shall never end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rochers. It's always nice to hear different instruments, isn't it? 
Next, we have a, a very special group. We're having a whole bunch of kids. My wife is playing piano. Brother Peyton is playing drums. And a whole bunch of kids are singing. Uh, and the song they're singing tonight is called That's My King. Revelation 17, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Revelation 19, 6. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Enough colors to paint the whole picture. Not enough words to ever say what I found. Wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy, He is merciful and powerful. Who are you talking about? That's my King. We declare glory. Give him all the honor. That's my anchor, my defender. That's my king. That's my word. That's my shepherd, my protector. That's my king. That's my God. That's my Talking about. 
that's my king. We declare glory. Give him all the honor. All together worthy. Who are we talking about? That's my king. We declare the glory. Give him all the honor. All together worthy. Who are we talking about? That's my king. There's no one before you. Yes, we will adore you. All oh, this is for you. Who are we talking about? That's my king. 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 That song has been pretty popular at our house lately. I've been practicing it quite a bit. But I still think they probably know it better than I do. If you don't know, um, here at Calvary we have uh, Spanish work. And we are inviting at this time uh, for them to come and sing. We have Sister Mia playing piano. Brother Jerome is playing drums. Brother Andres, Sister Jolyn, Brother Pedro, Sister Mercedes, and Brother Daniel uh, will be singing. And I'm going to let them testify and introduce their song, but God bless them tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just going to read a scripture from Revelations 15. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God and they and they sing the song of Moses the servant of God and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are thy works Lord God almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of saints vino el cielo otra señal grande y admirable siete ángeles que tenían las plagas postreras porque en ellas se consumaban la ira de Dios vi también como un mar de vidrio mezclado con fuego y a los que habían alcanzado la victoria sobre la bestia y su imagen y su marcha en el número de su nombre en pie sobre el mar de vidrio con las arpas de Dios y canten el cántico de Moisés siervo de Dios y el cántico del Cordero diciendo grandes y maravillosos son tus obras Señor Dios todopoderoso justo y verdadero son tus caminos Rey de los Santos the song we're singing tonight is called Being Before You Worshiping in Front of the Sea of Glass. Al estar ante ti adorando frente al mar de cristal. Amen. Worship with us tonight.
en asombro allí me habré de postrar y mi canto miré a millones proclamando Thankful that we can worship God in many languages. And he hears it all and he knows what we're saying. Thank you, New Life, for that. I want to invite Brother Jerome and Sister Jessica at this time. Uh, Brother Peyton's playing drums. Uh, Sister Alyssa's playing piano. Uh, this song is called Your Cries Have Awoken the Master. Praise the Lord, everyone. Isn't it awesome to be in the house of God tonight? Hear all this great singing? It's been awesome. Sister, they 
asked me to just say a little something and I was just trying to think of something I wanted to say and then God brought me back to a place when I was a kid. <clears throat> First off, how many people know that when God hears your cries? You know, when you cry out to him, God hears it. We might not always feel like he does, but he hears it. And I'm just thankful for that, that God knows. <laughs> when we cry out to him, he doesn't mess around. He knows we're crying. And I'm thankful that he's there. Anyways, this, when I was a kid, I remember I went on a trip somewhere with some family members, and all my cousins and stuff were from Florida, and they lived around water. I didn't even know how to swim. But I remember going out in the water swimming with my family, and somebody told me, they said, just stay back here, Jerome, you know, and I was just a kid. I got excited. They were all way out in the water swimming, so I wanted to go out there. As soon as I started stepping out, I went under into darkness. I plunged in off a drop-off, and I couldn't swim. And I remember plunging down so deep, I couldn't hardly see the surface. And I remember struggling to get to the top. And in my mind, I cried out to Jesus. And you know what? As soon as I did that, I didn't have any breath left in my body. A hand shot down from the surface of the water and grabbed me and pulled me out, pulled me to safety. And I thank God every day. It was somebody on the shore just happened to see me. And they reached out. And when that hand came under, I knew I was okay. But I couldn't voice my voice because I, you know, I swallowed some water, obviously. But God heard my cry, and he saved me that day. And he, you know, he spared my soul and my body that day and allowed me to be here tonight. And I'm just thankful for that, that he hears our cry. Just worship God with us tonight. Crossing the calm sea with Jesus, the disciples were getting concerned. The wind started violently blowing, but he was asleep in the stern. Does he not care that we perish, helpless and we're so afraid? And Jesus arose when he called him said to him, where is your faith? Because he prayed all night. Because you held on with all of your mind. God, your kind has woken the master. Oh, he knows your voice. If your hands, it's time to Your life had begun, seeing no hope in the distance. You're frightened and know where to run. By now, your vessel is filling, and you're thinking that you'll surely drown. You cried out for help from the Savior, and you know you can't give up now because you all night, you held on with all of your mind, God, your cries have woken the master. Oh, uh -huh. 
so thankful that we have a God that cares and a God that hears. Even though we see the storm, God sees so much more. And he sees us in the middle, and he knows where we're at, and he hears our cry. Um, this passage of scripture has been on my mind and on my heart, and I know Brother Jesse read it earlier this morning, but I wanted to read it again. The youth are going to come, and you guys can actually come and get ready to sing. They're going to sing a song that says that God is more than able. And I've been thinking about faith and how the book of Hebrews chapter 11 talks about all of these heroes of faith. All these men and women that did wonderful things of God. And he goes into detail about some of them. And then he says, and what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed violent and fight, turned to flight the enemies of the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and dens and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. And how amazing their lives are. And I, honestly, I don't know if I could ever be compared to any of these heroes of faith. And it seems a little overwhelming to hear all the things that they did and to think of our own faith. But this last scripture that says that they without us should not be made perfect. You have a purpose in God's kingdom. See, their story's already been written. They fought the good fight. They kept the faith. But now it's our turn. It's our turn to keep that faith going and to be examples. It says, we're foreseeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Looking on to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. There are words in this song that really minister to me, and I pray that they minister to you as well. Words in this song that say that your story is not over. You know, the devil would tell you that you're too old to be used by God. What do you have to do? You just need to sit back and wait till you get to heaven. Or he'll tell you that you're too young. You don't know enough. You have to wait till you learn more. You get more experience in life. But the truth is that God can use anyone. And God wants to use everyone. But we have to have the faith to say, God, I want to be used. I want to be full of faith to work for your kingdom. I pray that you will worship with them as they sing. Did I start to forget all of the great things you did? When did I throw away things for the impossible? How did I start to believe you weren't sufficient for me? Why do I talk myself out of seeing? miracles you are more than able you are more than able you are more than able 
Notice we have a lot of younger people that are singing tonight. It's kind of exciting when you think about what that could mean for the future. I'm, I'm happy that uh, our kids are looking, way, looking for ways to get involved, looking for ways to worship God. I want to invite uh, Sister Amanda at this time. She's singing a song called God of Revival.
it a oh god of revival pour it down pour it down every stronghold will crumble i hear the chains hit the ground oh god of revival pour it down pour it down come on can you people come on Thank you, Sister Amanda. Next we have uh, another group of young boys. We have Brother Brandon is playing piano for this song. Brother John Russell is playing guitar. Uh, and for singing, we have John Russell, Brandon, and also uh, Jack. And they are singing Break Every Chain. power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, 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 break every chain
make every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up to break every chain. Every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Every chain, break 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 every chain. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. falling I hear the chains falling I hear those chains falling I hear the chains falling there is power chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain Thank you, gentlemen. Forgot to mention, Brother Matthias has been playing drums. He's new to the drums, but he's been playing a lot tonight. Uh, excited for him as well. Next, we have Sister Jane and Sister Abigail singing Same God. Trust the one who is greater than the storm. Mm -hmm. I will trust the one who is greater than the storm. Even in my 
my darkest moments this will be the truth i'm holding the same god who made a way is the same god who's here today won't be shaking even when i'm shaking Having done all I can do, I still will stand. And I will worship. I will worship. I will face whatever comes with lifted hands. I don't need another reason. I don't need more convincing. The same God. The same God is here today, even in my darkest moments. This will be the truth I'm holding. The same God who made a way is the same God who's here today.
Amen. Thank you, ladies. We're coming to our last song for tonight. And before we do that, I'm going to invite uh, the hyphen group to come up at this time. And as they're coming, I just want to say uh, thank you to our sound team. They're always the unsung heroes. <laughs> Brother Derek and Sister Michaela, or Michaela, sorry. I'm thinking of someone else I know named Michaela. His name is spelled the same way. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I always manage to do it, don't I? Waited to the last. I saved it for the end. Uh, I want to also say thank you to Brother Alex. I know that he has helped a whole lot. I don't know where he's at now, but uh, Brother Justin has helped a whole ton. Uh, there's been practices that have happened different days, different nights, uh, different places, different times. I just want to say thank you to all of them because without them, uh, this wouldn't sound nearly as good as it does. And I've always been of the opinion that uh, whether you're on the platform or not does not diminish your ministry, just because you're on the platform does not magnify your ministry. Um, what happens in the sound booth and, and in the media loft and at the front doors by the ushers and in the Sunday school classrooms and in the youth classrooms and so on and so forth, it, it really, it, it doesn't matter whether everyone can see you or not. Uh, I know uh, the Lord will reward them for their work, but I wanted to honor them uh, and say thank you to them for all that they've done for this night. And... Uh, hyphen team uh, is singing heaven. The wondrous love of Jesus in his mercy and grace in the mansions bright and blessed he'll prepare for us a place and I can see the light coming and I can see the day dawning when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all Jesus, sing and shout the victory, sing and shout the victory. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty will behold. Soon those pearly gates will open, we will walk on streets of gold. And I can see the light coming. Yeah. And I can see the day dawning. Yeah. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, sing and shout the victory. Sing and shout the victory. All of the earth will be filled with your glory. Oh, I can't wait for the day when we rise up. Every tear will be wiped from our eyes. We're going to see you and sing holy, holy. Mountains will shake, every curse will be broken. Every word you have spoken, all of the earth will be. 
rejoicing that we'll be when we all see Jesus. Sin and shout the victory. Sin and shout the victory. Oh, I can't wait for that day when we rise up. Every tear will be wiped from our eyes And we're gonna see you and sing holy, holy Mountains will shake, every curse will be broken We're gonna see every word you have spoken All of the earth will be filled with your glory Chronicles 15 and verse 15 says, And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves thereof, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music psalteries and harps and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. The ark was going forward. They were about to, to go into battle and the glory of the Lord was with them. And, 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 and David said, send some singers, send some musicians appoint some people to go on ahead hallelujah what a night what a night what a night hallelujah hallelujah you know things rise and fall with with leaders and we have to we have to give honor where honor is due 
brother and sister, Bimal. Wow, thank you so much. Tremendous. Amen, amen. I don't know how they do it. It's, like I said, all week they were in here working with different groups, and, and this has just been this has just been tremendous. If you've been around this church for a few years and and we've been able to see this thing kind of just grow each time and, and really get better and better, and, and I don't want to get into all that, but I, I, you can just tell there's been a lot of work that's been put into this, and I believe God is really honored and anointed that, and I'm really thankful. Amen. I believe there were some people that ministered tonight in song and in music. And if you did, thank you, because that's not easy. But what you felt was the, the presence of God and the anointing of God. And I believe that God is calling some some of you I believe that I felt that in prayer before this and I, I believe God is calling some of you to be used in this ministry we have tremendous leaders you would do well to 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 ask them for help and to get underneath their leadership and learn from them but God wants to use so many more of you it was how exciting to hear some different instruments see some different people on keys and drums singing like this is really exciting Amen. We are we are so, we are so blessed, church. We are so blessed. Amen. Amen. If this is if this is something that uh, you ever uh, would like to be part of, you know, the earlier you see brother and sister be able, the better. Uh, of course, you know, there's there's a lot of work that needs to be put into it, and uh, and you need to work hard and prepare because we are the Lord's work. Amen. We, you are you are leading people into heavenly places. You're leading people to worship the King of Kings, and that is not something to ever take lightly. Amen? Amen. Church, why don't we stand to our feet? We're just going to close the service and close this time in prayer. As much as things were done and the phones were out and friends and family were, were videoing, and that's fine. That's, that's good. But this has always got to be about Jesus. Every song, every note, every bit of it, it has to be about Jesus. I, I don't know, you know, how much, you know, to, to put into, uh, you know, people say that, that, that Lucifer was the choir director. And, you know, it not, doesn't specifically say that, but it certainly, in the description of him, it says that he certainly was, uh, he was, he was almost a walking instrument. There was, he had pipes and he had, he was, he, he, he had something to do with music. And it is really easy to be up on this platform and to sing and, and to allow pride to, to creep in. You'd be really amazed to know how many um, secular artists, singers, got their start in a church there's a lot of them out there and I don't believe for one moment that any song any musician any singer should ever glorify anything other than Jesus I believe music what was was designed by God to glorify him and when we're doing this we're, we're lining up with the Word of God and the will of God and anything that isn't that doesn't glorify God, He's not pleased with that. Amen. So we glorified the Lord tonight. We lifted Him up. And so I just want us to pray. As we pray, I want us to pray specifically for Brother and Sister Bemo. I want us to pray for every musician and singer who stepped out tonight and, and gave up their talents unto the Lord. Uh, let's just pray that God continues to call and to lead. Amen. Could we just do that right now, church? God, every song has been lifted up to you tonight. Every word of praise has been given to you, Jesus.
Lord, we have felt your presence in this place. We pray, God, that this is an offering that is acceptable unto you. We thank you for sending your fire on this offering and your anointing. Lord, I'm praying right now, Jesus, over Brother and Sister Bimo as they lead the music of this church, God, that you would continue to lead, guide, anoint, and bless every singer, every musician, the sound team, Lord, everyone who labors, Jesus, to lead your people in the praise. I pray, God, that you continue to call and anoint. God, they were young and old, Lord, that were used here tonight, and I believe you're calling them. I believe you're calling some, Jesus, into this ministry. So, Lord, I pray that you continue to protect, continue to